Hi, welcome back to Genuine Color. This is the sixth video in the Java FX library management system development series. And so far we have created a database and added and retrieved book data. Now we have to add member data to the database and an option to retrieve the data. So in this video, I will be designing the UI for adding the member. So uh, just like we've done before, we have to create a package. So I'm going to create a new package using the package option and library assistant dot here. We have used the UI dot add book here. I'm going to add UI dot add member. So that's good. And in the add member option, I am going to create an FXML file, an empty FXML file. This is a uh, member add and we need a control of course so let the control be member add control this is all like we have done what we have done in the uh, book add option so member add controller then next of course we will need a cascade style sheet and i am going to press finish so i have got the css file for styling and member add controller and a member at fxml so in order to make the development faster i'm actually going to reuse the uh, book at gui because both are extremely similar so i'm going to click on this add book option then i am going to click on this v box and i am going to right click on it i don't know it's taking time so i'm just pressing ctrl c on the v box and i am going back to the library assistant in the member at dot fxml i just want to open that fxml file so okay then i am going to right click on it then click paste into so the v box that we created for add book fxml is now present in the member add so i'm going to fit it to the parent i'm sorry uh, instead it will be better if we decrease the size of the angle pane and here instead of book title we need member name so instead of member we can ask name then member ID then we need his contact information I mean that may be mobile then we ask for email address okay so we got the name member name member ID mobile email and of course we need the uh, we have to give some na variable names so name ID that's good then mobile then one more thing that we need is the email ID so the development was fast enough right then we have a button for save operation then we have a button for cancel option then I'm going back to the library assistant project clicking on it make controller so now I got all the few option and when the user presses on the add book sorry we can't use the add book option instead we will need a add member as action member so okay coming back clicking the controller make controller so now it is add member so when the user press on the add member option we want to accept all this data and put, create an XM, uh, uh, create a query or action for the database and execute it. So I'm going to take the name first. String name equals name dot get that name. Oh, the same problem again. So I'm going to use the em before em name equal name dot get text. Then repeating this name. Then we will need a id. Then we will need the uh, contact uh, that will be the mobile then em email then we will go for id then we will go for email so the mobile then we will go for email so we got this data now i want to check whether any of these uh, variables are empty so i'm going to create a boolean operator flag equals m name dot is empty or m if id is empty or if the mobile is empty or if the email is empty 
I want to show a message and return from the function. For that, for creating the alert, I am going to reuse the code from the uh, bookcat controller. So in that case, we had this alert option. So uh, not that alert option. This one will do the trick. So remember that I am going to paste it right here. Now we want to execute or we want to add the member into the database before that in the database we have to create a table for the member so i'm coming back to the database handler i'm closing all other open sorry uh, all the uh, I, I have closed all other windows and here we are set a book table so along with the set a book table we need set a member table so this will set up the member table I'm just going to repeat this using control shift the bottom arrow I can recreate uh, I mean copy and paste the code then member table so instead of using the table name book I'm going to use the table name member and check whether the member table is already exist then create table table name and uh, ID is okay we definitely want the ID then instead of title we are going for name of the member and instead of order we are giving the mobile as a worker and we doesn't want the mobile number to be 200 character long in any case that will not be more than 20 I mean that's for some safety right then for email ID we are going for email worker 100 and there is no is avail option because we don't want that so uh, we will create a table with these four values so that's good mobile email and uh, the next thing that we have to do is to create the statement for adding member to the database so I'm going back to the member add controller and in that I'm going to check uh, first I'm going to check if flag then enter all fields then we don't want to come this back to the next statement so I'm just giving the return statement and first now create the uh, statement so string st equals insert into member then values then just like before we need open and close parentheses inside that we will need a single double uh, single quotes and in between that we will have to give the content so first content should be the id in order to make things simple I'm going to copy this one I mean the skeleton uh, paste this here so now I can see the order of variables so insert into member values then I'm going to give ID which is Valka that's why we have used the single straw single quotes and uh, next thing is name it was in ID it was MID right it was MID so MID then we are going for m name then we are going for em mobile then we are going for em email and uh, just like before we need the comma for separating these arguments and a semicolon that's it so the statements look fine now we need I just want to display this command in order to make sure that's okay there is no error with that now we need to create a handler object database handler object in order to execute this comma action so I'm going to define a database handler here database handler handler and here in the initialization section I'm going to create an instance of the database database handler then here I'm going to execute the handler dot ex execute action it is not query it is definitely action and in that I am going to give ST and if the operation was a successful operation then I want to notify the user that it was success using the alert option so I'm going to copy and paste it right here alert type information information then saved if it was failure I mean if some kind of error gets occurred I want to notify the user about that too the error information will be thrown from the database handler section itself including the error so uh, we just have to give 
uh, we just have to notify that an error occurred at this level also so error occurred and it seems fine in this case also in order to run this uh, member at controller we need a class that extends application so new java class member add loader so that's fine i just want to reuse the uh, library assistant dot java file code so i'm just copying that and here i am coming back to the member add loader and i am going to copy and paste it right here okay then i need member add loader so that seems good then instead of add book we have to load the member add fxml so that is member add dot fxml and that's fine let's run the code uh, first before that we have to build the project so as you can see we got the member add window in the name section i'm going to give the name genuine coder and as a member id i'm going to give 100 as my id and i'm going to give my mobile number eight nine okay then the email id the genuine coder at gmail.com then i'm going to press on the save button so as you can see the database the member has been added into the database so i think that's the end of this video session and in the next video we will see how to or oh, i will uh, reuse the code from the previous book table so until the next video bye bye friends